Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.5. Well, this update should be released very, very soon on its first beta. So we're doing a preview of what we can expect to get from this update, of course, based on all the features that Apple is actually testing and all the features that they have promised to release with iOS 17 that are yet to be released and of course haven't made it to iOS 17 until now. So Apple just released 17.5. 4.1 last week and now it's time to release the first beta of iOS 17.5. So what to expect from this update? Well one really interesting feature that is coming with this update most likely which is actually currently being tested is a feature that allows users to transfer playlists from other services to Apple Music. So we're talking maybe like from Spotify to Apple Music or any other service that you use to listen to music. These are some of the screenshots that have been actually leaked from this feature that is being currently tested and most likely will come with 17.5 because of course then we will move on to iOS 18 beta. So this is probably the last time for Apple to actually release this new feature. So right here you can see transfer music from other services add saved music and playlists you made in other services to your Apple Music library. So you get started right here and you can see right here, you can go ahead and select a service from where you will import your playlist and save music. And this is powered by SongShift. So a really interesting and I believe a very needed feature for the Apple Music app. Another feature that's most likely coming to iOS 17.5 is SharePlay for Apple TV and the HomePod. So SharePlay is quite a great feature. It's used a lot of times. You can maybe share with your friends or family, maybe on a car or something like that, on your Bluetooth devices, but now it should come to iOS 17.5 for HomePod and also the Apple TV. So of course you can enjoy a SharePlay on your house as well. And as you probably know, iOS 17.4 has brought sideloading to EU users a feature that we never thought we'll see on iOS, but according to the EU laws, Apple had to do it and it's here now for EU users. Now, what Apple is doing, this is also exclusive for the EU as well. For selected devs, they will soon be able to distribute the iOS apps directly from their website. So if they don't wanna maybe host their apps on the App Store, they can do it directly from their website. Apple said that this new web distribution feature will be available later this spring. And of course, it should come with iOS 17.5 as we're expecting this to be released on spring as well. So later this spring, we're gonna talk again about the exact dates for betas and the public release in a minute here. So the web distribution feature will be again limited only to devs based on the EU, allowing them to actually offer their apps directly from their website and not the app store. Another feature that hasn't made it yet to iOS 17 is game mode. Now Apple has talked about this at WWDC 2023, where they introduced iOS 17 and it's still not here. And it maybe will come, probably will come with iOS 17.5 as I would expect 17.5 to actually be the last update of iOS 17, which will have quite a few new features because then we will move on in the beginning of June to iOS 18 beta. So of course, from there on, you can just expect Apple to release bug fixes and security updates with the next updates of iOS 17. So game mode is basically a mode on your iPhone, which will actually work only on the iPhone 15 Pro series. So it basically is a mode that prioritizes the hardware sources, resources for a game, allowing it to run more smoothly on your iPhone. Apple also claims that this mode will reduce the Bluetooth latency. And of course, this is great news for gamers if you're using the AirPods or maybe even using controllers to play your games on your iPhone. So these are some of the new features that we can expect to see on iOS 17.5, but when will it be released? Well, the first beta should come as soon as this upcoming week. So we're right here on the 24th today, as soon as tomorrow, maybe on the 26th here or the 25th, we will actually see iOS 17.5 beta one. 
This is exactly the same that happened last year as well. Last week of March, we got the first beta of iOS 16.5 and I would expect Apple to actually do the exact same this year as well. Now, as far as the final release goes, we also can go back the last couple of years. iOS 15.5 was released on May 16th. iOS 16.5 was released on May 18th. So around middle of May. And I would expect Apple to do the exact same this year. So if they release this week, iOS 17.5 beta one, it will most likely go to like four or five beta stages than the RC version. And then I would expect them to release it to the public somewhere around here, maybe May 13th or 14th. These are the dates that I would expect Apple to release iOS 17.5 to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is a quick preview of iOS 17.5 and what you can expect Apple to actually bring to iOS users with this update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more videos. I'll see you on the next one.